This Week at Interior. A new public-private partnership announced this week to benefit the next generation of outdoor stewards as Secretary Jewell joined the North Face and American rock band My Morning Jacket in a joint effort to protect, preserve, and celebrate our nation's public lands. The band re-recorded Woody Guthrie's iconic folk song, This Land is Your Land. Proceeds from downloads of the song on iTunes will go toward jobs for youth and veterans on public lands through the 21st Century Conservation Service Corps. Jobs at Secretary Jewell's has provide valuable training and a connection to the great outdoors that will last a lifetime. The North Face is also committing $250,000 to the 21 CSC. Secretary Jewell in Atlanta this week to deliver the keynote address, the National Congress of American Indians Annual Convention. The Secretary chairs the White House Council on Native American Affairs and highlighted the administration's ongoing commitment to promote stronger, safer, and more resilient communities through tribal self-determination and sovereignty. The Secretary also pressing the case this week for improvements in Indian education. She visited Choctaw Elementary and High Schools in Mississippi to continue the administration's discussion about transforming Indian education, providing tribes more choices about how best to operate their Bureau of Indian Education schools. She met with students and faculty to hear about what's going well and also hear about the challenges they face. The Choctaw Tribal School System serves more than 2,000 students in eight schools. Secretary Jewell says the Mississippi Band of Choctaw Schools can serve as a model for successful BIE schools across Indian country. The Fish and Wildlife Service this week is proposing Endangered Species Act protection for the African lion. In the last two decades, their numbers have fallen by 30 percent, according to the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The agency says its analysis found that without such protection, lions are in danger of extinction in the foreseeable future. Find out more at FWS.gov. The night-flying creatures many associate with Halloween are also facing some life-threatening challenges. USGS scientists say bats are threatened by white nose syndrome. That's caused by a fungus that infects skin on their wings and muzzles and other areas during hibernation. They're also prone to mistaking spinning wind turbines for the safety and shelter of trees. Scientists say bats, far from being a threat to humans, actually serve a valuable purpose. Gobbling up millions of pounds of crop-eating insects every year. Learn more about bats at USGS.gov. The Bureau of Reclamation says fossil remains of a mammoth more than 70,000 years old have been excavated from the American Falls Reservoir in Idaho. The fossils were found in an irrigation drain about 30 feet below the reservoir's high water mark. The portions of tusk and skull have been transferred to the Idaho Museum of Natural History in Pocatello. In keeping with federal laws protecting fossilized resources, Reclamation encourages the public to photograph and report any fossil findings to the agency. And the National Park Service looking to conserve energy in the National Capital Area. It's investing $29 million for 81 individual energy and water saving projects throughout the greater Washington region. Everything from intelligent lights on the National Mall, which adjust to natural light conditions, to smart sprinklers on the White House lawn that only come on when the grass needs water. Find out more about the projects at nps.gov. That's this week at Interior.